Alright, hey guys, and I, uh, Firestorm Gaming here. This is Nathan, and I'm gonna show you how you're gonna get, uh, GLSL shaders on Minecraft 1.6.2. Uh, the shader packs I, uh, will be using is Sildur's shaders, but I know people prefer Ruto Plays and Sonic Ethers, which work fine too. Um, I'm not quite sure about the latest version of Sonic Ethers, uh, version 10, I'm not quite sure if that's completely compatible yet, but, uh, these, these work fine, uh, there are other, um, there are other shader packs that work fine, but, so what we're gonna wanna do is, first things first, you're gonna want Minecraft Forge installer that you can get. I'll have all these links in the description. So, first we're going to want to get the Minecraft Forge installer. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on the link or go to files.minecraftforge.net and go to the latest recommended version, 1.6.2 under promotions and click under downloads, click the installer. It'll bring you to an ad fly page, and you just wait for this to download. Once you download it, just save it to your desktop. Like so. Minecraft Forge installer. Um, yeah, just save it as is, and there we go. So, next thing we will want to get is the shaders mod. Now, Sonic Ether's page links you to the mod. He doesn't actually like have the download. He only has like the downloads for his uh, shader packs. So do not go to Sh Sonic Ether's page to find them to find the download. Go to here. I'll have this link in the description, and this is the page with the download for the GLSL shader mod core, which you will need. So. It is incompatible with Optifine, and it, it has some compatibility issues as of now, but that'll all be, uh, all be fixed later on. So you have to make sure you're here, and you're going to want to click whichever one you prefer. I prefer Mediafire, so I'm going to the second download link. and download the shader mod core save it to your desktop or your preferred folder so now we have the minecraft forge installer and shader mod core so you can close out of that and we can what was this oh, forge installer All right. we can close out of the forge we can close out of those pages and um we can go to downloading the shader packs. So we're getting the parts for the puzzle right now. If you go to this page, this page also in the description, and you scroll down you'll find the shaders for like specialized graphics cards. So we have uh Okay, so we have, and for Nvidia graphics cards, and then we have for ATI graphics cards, and we have basics. So the basics sort of like are universal between the two, and nothing like real advanced. And these are like for if you know what kind of graphics card you have, get one from one of these categories. If you don't, just grab one from down here. So, go to your one of choosing and click it. It'll bring you to another AdFly page. Wait five seconds. Alright, skip ad, download. Save it to your desktop or your preferred folder. Boop. Alright. So now we're done with the internet and downloading. 
uh, we're not done with the internet. We're done with web browsing for now. So, you have the three files you downloaded right here. Uh, run the executable Forge installer. Run the Minecraft Forge installer. Okay. Run the Minecraft Forge installer and click install client and make sure that's where you have your .minecraft folder. I'd hope that is where you have it. And click OK. Successfully installed. OK. So now, if you open up the Minecraft launcher, you'll see that we have Forge. You're going to want to click the Forge and um, do this, get this all squared away if this happens for you. Well, that's this is this is unfortunate. Surprise, surprise, the servers are down. What luck. <laughs> uh game chap. Oh boy. Boulder Dash. Alright. I will resume it when it is back up. Alright, here we are, it's back online. Woo! Alrighty. So you do want to change your, you will notice that if you go to the profile option, you'll see a new forge. Hit click forge and go to edit profile if you would like to edit stuff in here. But this is pretty much um, all you need to, yeah, it, all, it should automatically have release 1.6.2 forge there in the use version. Um, so yeah, do not start Minecraft yet, by the way. So, minimize that. So, let's get out of there. Back to here. Now, now that we have the Forge installer, we used it, we don't need it anymore. Just do as you please with it. So, next we're going to want to install the Shader Mod Core. Now, how we install this is we go to any... Um, any search bar, any, any, like, up here, delete all this and type percent, app data percent. Or if you have a start menu, you can type it there, percent app data percent. And it should automatically bring you here. So click on your Minecraft, click on your um, mods. If there is no mods folder, you need to create one. So create a folder just titled mods, just lowercase mods, and go in there. Now, uh, drag the shader mod core into the mods folder. And do not close this out yet. Go back. And you want to create a folder if there isn't already a folder called Shader Packs. Lowercase Shader Packs, all one word. Once you've created this folder, go into it. Um, and bring, uh, drag Silder Shaders or whichever one you have into your Shader Packs folder. And you can close out of that. You're all done. So now what you need to do is uh, just click play. Let it load up. Da -da -da. Now, I have an extra mod. I have an extra mod on here. So if you have no other mods, it'll just say four mods loaded, four mods active. So you have Minecraft Coder Pack, Forge Mod Loader, Forge, and GLSL. I have the Buddy Cam. So, yeah. So how you use this mod is oh, all right there just making sure I'm still recording how we use this mod is we go into any world um and you go you hit the start or you hit the escape button you go to options shaders and you have all this stuff this this nice cool stuff so you can select different shader packs that you've downloaded 
So there's ultra, here's extreme, extreme with depth of field. Um, I even have Rudo plays. This is making it look extremely dark. Alrighty. So I've got Rudo plays. Shaders, uh, I don't really use Sonic Ethers, because I can use this, and this looks magnificent. So there's that, this has been a tutorial on how to uh, install shaders for 1.6 point, um, 1.6 too. So thanks for watching guys. Subscribe for more tutorials on how to install stuff and stuff with Minecraft and I have to go. My mom is calling me. Thank you. Goodbye.